Hello, I am Baroness Camilla de la Renard of the Barony of the Flame in the Middle Kingdom, and I'm doing the intro for Baron Eric's Glastonbury Light Chair class. When we first joined the SCA many years ago, we were on the hunt for a comfortable chair to have in our camp. Now, at that time, decorators chairs were, or directors chairs were very popular because they fold flat, you could put something medieval-ish on the seat and back, or you could slip cover the thing. However, they were very tippy on uneven ground, and we saw several friends go over backwards in these chairs. So that's not an ideal situation. Then when we became landed Baron and Baroness, we were gifted, or uh, the coronet was gifted, I should say, with a set of curved X chairs. Now these are called curved X chairs, Savonarola chairs. They have several names. The problem with them is they are heavy as lead and the seat backs are usually straight up and down. They're not very comfortable. They wobble side to side, they wobble front to back and they don't fold flat, so whoever packs the car is automatically annoyed. Then we switch to Glastonbury chairs based somewhat on the pattern in the ever popular deal book. Now, this one has some tricky cuts and it looks medieval, but it's a bit of a chore to make if you follow the pattern directly. And as you can see, it doesn't fold flat. They're great chairs to, for decoration, but they are kind of the Adirondack chair of the SCA in the sense that small people like me can't pick them up easily and can't move them around too well. Now I could stand on this if I wanted to, but I don't want to. As you can see, it doesn't fold flat and depending on how it's made, whether you, um, make some of these pivot points permanent or not, bits and pieces come off, they wobble, and then there's the always popular issue of keeping up with the pins. How many of us have had to stick a pencil or something in a peg because the pins are gone? So then um, after trying to pump one of these around to and from Great Court at Penzik a time or two, I decided we've got to find something lighter that I could, I could deal with. That's part of the problem. So that led me to poke around Safari camp furniture websites. And at first I found drawer key chairs. Now this is a Victorian Safari chair that you can see pretty much disassembles, which is good. You can pack it up pretty tight, but it doesn't look medieval-ish and um, it might not hold some of your larger friends that want to borrow a chair. And then I found a cricket club chair. So this put us on the right track, but at this point it looks like Victorian lawn furniture with the slatted seat and the open back. And uh, the pictures were kind of, uh, they were good, but they weren't great. And they didn't mention how they folded, which was the real trick to this, which will, Baron Eric will explain in his class. So I said, I, I want this. I want something like this. I found the design, you can figure it out. It's got to be lighter than a Glastonbury. So thanks to the uh, miracle of more math education than me. My husband was able to figure it out and this was the first one. This is in pine and um, it's still got somewhat of an open back. The seat is a little narrow for some people, but it's stronger than it looks because it will hold 300 pounds at least. If my husband sits in it and I sit in his lap, it's over 300 pounds. So we know it's good for 300 pounds, bare minimum. 
and he sent him through bits and pieces of the, of the design that he will explain later, including whatever he's showing right now. But uh, we uh, got the arm pattern from the deal book and narrowed it up and I think accentuated this a little bit. Now the good thing about these chairs is they're reasonably comfy. Yes, they look like Victorian lawn furniture if you don't decorate them up. But the angle on the back is just right for me and the tip here catches me just right and it's sturdy and since it's been polyurethane I don't have to worry about it swelling or contracting in the humidity too much. And as you can see we improved. This was the next iteration and poplar. So this is the same thing in poplar. The seat's a bit wider. The back is more solid. And here again, if you decorate it up according to your taste, it doesn't look like Victorian lawn furniture. You could paint the arms. You could carve the arms. You could carve a plaque and put it on the back with your coat of arms since this doesn't set flush with this. And uh, I was very fortunate. I was working at a tent and awning store, so I got some foam that's specifically rated for boat seats, camping furniture, stuff like that. And I made a pillow with a scrap, this is a scrap, believe it or not, of Sunbrella awning fabric. This is over 11 years old. It hasn't faded. It hasn't mildewed. If you get water on it, because that's what awnings do. So if you tip this up, if someone who closing, who's closing up camp in the evening forgets to tip up the chairs or fold up the chairs and you come that out and there's water on the seat. An example of tipping up a chair would be leaving against your camp table like that. So, so the, if it rains hard. Or the humidity. Off gets high enough, like it can at Pensick, it won't gather on the seat. But if someone forgot to do that, you can come out with a chamois or cloth, and it's pretty much dry. And if it still isn't dry enough, you put these in the tent last night. So, here you go. So it doesn't quite look like Victorian lawn furniture anymore. It's comfy. You can customize the width of the seat. A somewhat larger friend asked us about that. And now comes the real party trick. You can see that this folds pretty darn flat. It's barely, what, six inches when it's folded up. So that's very good. And then comes the real party trick. I can pick it up like this. Now this can be a very good thing when someone's running late to get to the list and they have to get their armor out of the car and report to the list table and someone my size has to get the day camp stuff out of the car. Now when I do this, this is usually when the ladies in the back of the class go, hmm. So that's my intro. We evolved from director's chairs to curved X chairs to Glastonbury's to Victorian lawn furniture to better looking Victorian lawn furniture. Depending on how you bling it up, it folds flat. It holds 300 pounds. You can customize the width of the seat, the angle of the back up to a point and you can make it your own. And Baron Eric will explain the construction details.